So, back at Ascot then after those couple of races at Bath with Leon, and we've got the King Edward the Seventh. Next, this is a Group 2 for three-year-old Colts over a mile and a half. Oh, it's known as the Ascot Derby. This one at the top, we've got Crossways for Darren Thompson, Fabrique Belgique for Martin and Future Treasure, Craig Beckwith, Persian King, Dan Hughes, Scene of the Crime, Leon Van Rensburg, and Roaring Hawk for Dan Hughes. So, away they go then. And another small field for this one, but Future Treasure on the outside is the leader. Quite often a small field for the King Edward the Seventh, anyway. So it's Future Treasure in the lead, but now on this near side, Persian King has come through. Crossways, who's unluckily brought down last week, is in third place. And then the Grey Roaring Hawk, scene of the crime, and then finally Fabrique Belgique at the back. We're already through the first couple of furlongs. And Persian King is bowling along nicely in the lead by about four lengths to Future Treasure in second. Crossways on the inside is third. And then Scene of the Crime, Roaring Hawk and Fabrique Belgique, the back three in a line. But it's Persian King who's going nicely in front. Of all, Dan Hughes has got first and last at the moment. A gap on five lengths, then back to Future Treasure in second. Crossways on the inside. He's third. Apologies to Darren Thompson. I said he'd had four Royal Ascot winners. He'd only had three. Maybe he'll have had four after this one. Who knows? It's Persian King in the lead from Future Treasure in second. Then Crossways. Fabrique Belgique on the outside. Then comes Roaring Hawk. And scene of the crime is just the back marker. But Persian King is setting them a, merry, setting them a good pace and setting them a merry dance at the minute. Leads by five to Future Treasure in second, Fabrique Belgique's moved up on the outside, then comes Crossways and Roaring Hawk and Scene of the Crime, but Persian King leads with five and a half furlongs to go, and bowling along nicely in the lead, the rest of them one or two of them just being niggled along, but they're beginning to close now. Persian King, is he just giving himself a little bit of rest? Is he going to kick on? Looks like he's going to try to, but Future Treasure sweeps around the outside. Future Treasure looks to be going well. Persian King rallies on the inside. Future Treasure on the outside. Then Crossways. Then Scene of the Crime. Then Roaring Hawk. And then Fabrique Belgique. They've got three and a half furlongs to go. And Persian King reasserts in front. He's gone back a length clear from Future Treasure in second. Scene of the Crime on the outside. And then Crossways trying to get through the inside is going to need a little bit of a lucky split. The grey's got nowhere to go. Roaring Hawk, Fabrique Belgique going to try and pull around the outside. It's still Persian King with two furlongs to go. Persian King then two clear of scene of the crime. Future treasure. Crossways, Roaring Hawk, Fabrique Belgique. They're all in a lump but it's Persian King who's two lengths clear. They're beginning to close and no past the furlong pole they go. Persian King's in the lead. Here comes Future Treasure, scene of the crime. Crossways, Roaring Hawk flying on the outside. Persian King still in the lead. Here comes Crossways, scene of the crime. They're open up towards the line, it's going to be seen in the crime, he's just going to take it up and seen in the crime takes it, and Leon Van Rinsburg gets on the winner's board, and it was a tight one that one, and Andy Capra will have some fun doing that race. He's seen in the crime who takes it for Leon Van Rensburg. Future Treasure second for Craig Beck with Roaring Hawk for Danny Hughes third. Persian King for the same trainer fourth. Crossways for Darren Thompson was fifth.